The state of Indiana filed a lawsuit this week hoping to change how states can charge online sales tax. Indiana State House Bureau Chief Eric Feldman explains why state leaders are pushing for this, but also why some businesses don't like it. For the couch potato or the last minute shopper, with one click, you can find seemingly anything from clothing to live ladybugs. But right now, Indiana residents only pay online sales tax for Indiana businesses. Thanks to a U.S. Supreme Court ruling from 1992, Indiana filed a lawsuit in Marion County Court, the first step to try to make a new state law constitutional, requiring all businesses selling to Hoosiers online to pay the state's sales tax. I understand where they're coming from. They, they see all the revenue they're not getting. A study from the Indiana Fiscal Policy Institute in Ball State says Indiana lost $77 million from out-of-state online businesses back in 2012. But some businesses in Indiana are not crazy about the plan. Like Indy String Theory. While this law change wouldn't affect the business, they see the benefit of not having to pay sales tax for online sales in other states. Like this package off to Illinois. It helps our bottom line. Others say they're concerned other states will follow Indiana's lead if the courts reverse its findings, and then they may have to figure out the sales taxes for 50 U.S. states. There's a, a slippery slope, certainly, that business will have to suddenly become a, a tax expert on all the different states. Potentially head spinning. We would have to then program all of the sales tax information from each state into that, so it therefore charges the correct amount for each state and then we would have to go back with it, you know, and file with all of the all of the different departments of revenue. Indiana State House Bureau Chief Eric Feldman, News Channel 15.